This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr as we get set to bring you all the action. We're live in Houston where the Rockets have home court advantage. Tip it's New York. And now the New York Knicks starters. They've got Noah. Derrick Rose is out there with Lee. Then it's Anthony. Noah dishes the Rose. Noah kicks to Anthony. New York moving the ball around. Off the mark here with the three-point shot. You know, across the board, the Knicks played at a very deliberate pace last year. They were in no rush to get their offense in motion. Actually preferred a slower half-court game. Now, here is Harden. Here's Nene. And it comes off the front of the rim. On defense, Houston. Now let's find out what head coach Derek Fisher had to say to DB. Doris? Kevin, he thinks this team is such a tight-knit group that it's starting to get to a point where they can read each other's minds. They'll see a guy cutting without even looking up, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Hopefully, the fun can continue, guys. Okay, Doris, appreciate the information. I think, guys, it's not the first time that shooting has been a focus for this team. Well, it's always something that they've tried to concentrate on. You work hard in practice. You, know, you, you work on your craft. You work on your strategy, your execution. But you never know if the ball's going to go in or not. And we've seen it ring up dividends. When they take that very disciplined approach to their offense, it usually pays off. As you said, the Knicks did slow things down last year as it showed up in the stats. You wonder if that was the right move for them. Well, you know, Kevin, they've been through both the up and down tempo and the slow tempo the last four to five years, and they haven't quite figured out what to settle on. If they can get that rectified, then I think they've got a chance to go forward. good on the second. You know, it's really been this way for a few years when you look at the Rockets. They have been fantastic at getting to the line and I think it caught a lot of teams in the East off guard last season. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Lee outside. Anthony in the corner. The good looking shot from the wing. Very well done. He is a confident dynamic scorer. And the Rockets with possession here. Now the Rockets did well against the Eastern Conference last year, as you might expect. 23 wins out of 30 games. And getting to the line, Steve, was a part of it. Yeah, in fact, they averaged just under 30 trips to the foul line against the Eastern Conference team. So, you know, it's tough to lose when you get so many easy points against your opponent. Now here's Rose. Harden missing his last shot. Rose passes to Lee. Shot clock at six. Shot is blocked. They've had a cold start so far. Just one of five from the floor here, Earl. Anderson kicks to Beverly. This is it to Harden. Here's the screen. From 12 feet out. And that one's good. Harden's got his first bucket in this one. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. For New York, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Noah with a screen on Ariza. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. Harden outside. He feeds it to Nene. Anderson kicks to Harden. Craps in the tray. Harden's got five points so far. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. You know, Ryan Anderson really was set up to have a big year last year. When he was on the floor, he was a laser, an absolute dead-eye shooter. But when you look at last season, all you can really take away is that he struggled to stay healthy. Five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Nene, the screen. Anderson outside. Here's Ariza. They get a pick. 
Nene kicks to Harden. The dish to Anderson. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Houston with a big group substitution here. Capela checked in for Nene. Maniunas comes in for Ryan Anderson. Corey Brewer is checked in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Ennis in for Patrick Beverly. And so it's New York with it. It's back to Jennings. Here's Anthony. The Rockets pull it in. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. Ennis dishes to Hart. Bonnie kicks to Brewer. Harden sets the pick for Brewer. Six to shoot. Pass to Harden. Harden right side. No good. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Outside Jennings. Baker passes it to Carmelo. There's a screen. He dishes it to Serafin. New York moving the ball around. Who's back up? The shot's good from O'Quinn. Perseverance paying off on the offensive boards, guys. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. You know, New York had trouble with teams out west, as can be expected. Everybody did. Only took 11 of their 30 matchups. We certainly heard them in the stands. 11 and 19 against the west. And the basket by Brewer. Back and forth we go. That basket gives us another lead change. And there have been too many of those to keep track of. What a contest. Here's O'Quinn. Anthony down low. Steps back and trains the jump shot. Anthony's got eight points. And with the Knicks in the West, they had some tough games that could have gone either way, but it never worked out for them. Harden the best to Capela. Here's Baker. Loses the glass to finish the layup. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they won on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Just thinking again about the Knicks against the West. All those games that could have gone either way. That's just tons of times in the end. Exactly. All the little things add up. And at the end, I bet last year's Knicks team wishes they were able to redo or take a mulligan on some of their tough matchups against the West. Brewer. Anthony, eight points for him. Four seconds left. Here's Serafin. Off target at the rim. It's a tie game here in Houston. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, Steve Clark, what are your thoughts? How about the three-point shooting? The scoring has really come in bunches from long range. Yeah, it seems like every time down the floor they're knocking down the triple. at the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going on the court for the Knicks we've got Lance Thomas the out there with Derrick Rose then it's Plumley. it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession okay. 
Here's Houston now. Six on the shot clock. And Beverly kicks to a reason. And here's Anderson from the arc. And he gets it to go. Anderson's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for Houston. Ryan Anderson, one of the sweetest shooting big men in the league. Deep range with that quick release. I'll tell you what, at his height, he doesn't need much daylight to get it off. Now here's Rose. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Lee kicks to Rose. Trying his luck deep. Ariza with the rebound. Houston leading by three. When you look at Ryan Anderson, he's efficient, he's efficient score. Like a lot of shooters, he doesn't turn it over much while getting his basket. Here's Beverly. Nene, the screen. There's the triple. And another three for Houston. This shot was made possible by the work of Nene setting the screen. Knicks trail by six. And three-point shooting may be never more in demand than it is right now in the NBA and state, considering, too, that Ryan Anderson has one of the more desirable contracts in the NBA. Yeah, well, he's a true spread forward who also does a nice job of getting offensive rebounds. So it's a good combination for somebody who spends so much of his time behind the arc. And stolen by Gordon. And the pass to Beverly. It's Anderson with the drive. Beautiful dance, and the layup goes down. And now it's an eight-point rocket lead. And they're starting to warm up from the field for them this quarter as they add to their lead. Yeah, it seems like everybody, Steve, has the hot hand right now. He kicks it to Beverly. Outside, Gordon. Rocket six. Steps back and fights. Knicks with the rebound. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. And Thomas, here we go. Lee dishes to Thomas. The kick out to Rose. Lee against Gordon. Lee passes to Rose. And the Knicks miss again. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. The Rockets, of course, at the forefront or vanguard as far as advanced analytics go. Some in the NBA have stopped, but hey, they're doing something right. Now, here's Thomas. And Plumley kicks to Thomas. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Prime times checked in for Houston. And a switcher also for New York. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Plumlee. On the wing, Gordon. Covered by Lee. Gordon kicks to Beverly. Nene at the elbow. Wide open. That one goes. Come. And the Rockets lead by 10. And as you guys know, the Rockets at the forefront technology-wise, too. You see coaches with electronic tablets. Well, they installed flat-screen monitors in the locker room, highlighting stats and videos for players. So, you know, they're trying to close the loop and create that line of communication between the numbers crunchers and the players themselves. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Well, interestingly, guys, Joe Kim Noah draws inspiration from music the typical selections you might think. He is a huge reggae fan. Noah said, quote, people think reggae is such happy music, but really listen to the lyrics. It's about empowerment. It's about uniting people. It gives me strength on the floor. Guys? Noah, definitely a unique player and character in the NBA. Good to see you. Good kid. Thank you, Doris. Gordon dishes to Beverly. Pass to prime time. And here's Beverly. Here's a reason. No good on the three. Rose against Gordon. This is to Anthony. To the wing on the left. Rose goes in. Just five on the clock. That's good. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first half. So 
Hakeem Noah, one of the great effort players in the NBA. His energy and mobility enabled him to make his impact felt all over the court. Now here's Gordon looking for his first basket still in this one. Kicks it to Beverly. On G. Another shot. And Nene with the lay-in. Good. Nene's got the lead up to 10 now for Houston. You got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Boy, you talk about Noah's energy and hustle. His offensive rebounding is a huge plus for their offense. And his speed in transition creates problems for the opposing big men as well. Now here's Gordon. Nene is setting the pick for Gordon. And Beverly kicks to Ariza. Ariza with another miss. Knicks trail by eight. 43 seconds left in the first half of the game. New York moving it around. Anthony in the corner. And again, it's New York. At the defensive end, Steve, Noah is a key player. Yeah, last season's Defensive Player of the Year, Kevin. It, it gives you rebounds, blocks, steals, but what impresses me the most is his ability to guard on the perimeter against screen and roll when he switches out onto point guards. He's unmatched in that category. Here's Gordon after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Beverly, the pass to prime time. Off target from outside. Now here's Anthony. He's got 10. The feed to Rose. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Rockets lead by four. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. You no, know, Carmelo, after this first half of play, what do you believe the team needs to focus on from here on out? Well, just communication and trusting one another. When somebody get beat, the next guy got his back, and we're just trying to get up and down, get going somewhere somehow. For the most part, we did pretty good. A couple of adjustments on the defensive end. Make some shots, and we'll be fine. Melo, thanks for the time. Guys, over to you. Thank you, Norris, and we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime.